guys and welcome to the third day of daily December uploads and I've actually already recorded this video once and then I clicked stop on the recording and it just completely crashed, the recording failed, I have no idea what happened, that was a few days ago but here I am again recording it once again so yeah that was kind of annoying so now I have to use about 20 minutes, I don't know, to record this one um, so yeah we're on day 3 now of daily December, hopefully you guys are enjoying the uploads so far even though it's only been about you know, two days, we had the customising video, then we had the BFW Survivor Series match card video yesterday, and today I'm going to be going through the AEW roster that I have in figure form, and I'm just going to be telling you guys what I feel about the figure, uh, if there could be any improvements, uh, what I feel, how I feel about them in AEW, just things like that, so yeah, all AEW video today. But yeah, I was holding off on doing this video for a while, for December, but also because uh, we, ne we never had Wave 2, uh, but yeah, Wave 2 finally did hit the UK, as you can see by the unboxing the other week and the Adam Page here. Um, so yeah, Wave 2 is has arrived in the UK, a uh, very low stock. Um, so yeah, they have skyrocketed in price on eBay, you know, with scalpers and everything, um, and just by companies in general. But yeah, can't really blame them if, you know, people will pay it, they'll pay it if they really want them that badly. So yeah, in this video I will have a bunch of AEW Unrivaled figures, AEW Unrivaled 2, we'll have former Mattel figures of wrestlers who are in AEW now, we'll have a couple customs, so yeah, going to show you guys basically just my AEW collection, I'm pretty sure I've got everyone uh, who I have in figure form from AEW, um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Now starting it off, obviously we have to start it off with uh, one of the owners of AEW in Cody. And this figure really is great, uh, I can't wait to film the Lights Out match at Survivor Series with this one alongside the AEW John Moxley, which we will get into. But yeah, the skin tone doesn't really bother me, the only problem with this skin tone is when you like focus on it, the camera goes super bright, I'll see if I can do it now. Of course I won't do it now, it's mainly when I'm taking pictures with Fedden or something. Uh, but yeah, I really like this attire from the iconic match. I do have the Chase, uh, which is on display, I'll probably never open that. Uh, hopefully we do have the Ring exclusive, UK exclusive one, you know, the silver attire soon. Uh, but yeah, big fan of this Cody. This will, this is probably the one I use at Survivor Series if the silver one doesn't come in stock in time. Uh, maybe if I get a second one, I can do a torso swap on this one because I hear these are pretty easy to torso swap. Yeah, Cody, former TNT champion, two-time TNT champion. Absolutely love his work in AEW. Currently feuding with, uh, looks to be, uh, Taz and, you know, Powerhouse Hobbs and everything. Love that group so much. And yeah, them feuding with Cody will be awesome, I bet. So yeah, let's stand Cody uh, right there in front of him. Uh, don't have Brandy, sadly, uh, even though Brandy sucks. Uh, I do want to get that figure just, you know, to complete wave one. Um, and she she will go on display nice with Cody, uh, maybe. Up next, we have to do the current AEW World Champion. However, I believe this video is going out the night after his title match with Kenny Omega. I'm recording this the week before, and I honestly have no idea who is going to win. It's I, I can't wait to watch it. I'm going to try and watch it live. Uh, hopefully I can. But yeah, he could not have this belt anymore. This belt could be around Kenny Omega's waist. But yeah, John Moxley absolutely killing it as world champion. Definitely one of my favourite world champions uh, over the past you know time I've watched wrestling. And I think I've enjoyed his reign more than Jericho's, even though Jericho's was awesome. But yeah, Moxley had some absolutely incredible matches against the likes of Brody Lee, Brian Cage, uh, Lance Archer, Eddie Kingston. And now he's going up against Kenny Omega. Can't wait for that match. Uh, I like how the story's gone back you know, a year to last year when Moxley beat him in that lights out match to now a full on wrestling match and a lot of Kenny's you know gone back to his heel ways and everything uh, which we will get into uh, once we get on to Kenny but yeah this figure is decent love the scan love all the upper he is a bit too tall because of the legs but I honestly haven't had too many problems with it the belt as well is a big plus and this is probably definitely the hardest one to get hold of um, if you're collecting wave 2 uh, definitely the most in demand one I believe since he is you know the world champion uh, up next, it only seems fair that we do do uh, the potentially the next AEW World Champion. Uh, I forgot to say, I also do believe it is Kenta who has attacked Moxley, and he could have cost him uh, the title by the time this video comes out. And Kenny Omega could be AEW World Champion. I think they should 100% put it on Kenny as much as I've enjoyed Moxley's run. I think they really do need Kenny at the top of their card right now. Um, yeah, there are rumours that Kenny is injured or something, so I don't really know what they're going to do. Uh, very interested for next week, see how it goes down. Maybe, you know, uh, they'll do a time limit draw and then they'll lead to the bigger match at Revolution or something. I don't know, but I'm really excited for um, that match on December 2nd. But yeah, this Kenny is also fire. Same problem with the Cody or with the skin tone. Uh, you know, when you focus on it, it brights up the camera a lot, so it's quite hard to pose around. And he just fell over. He stands up okay. Um, the Cody definitely stands up a lot better. But the feet are really loose on Kenny for some reason, especially the ring exclusive one. 
super loose that one, I can barely use it. Uh, but I have just finished filming his match with Drew McIntyre for my Survivor Series show, which uh, will hopefully be out very soon. And yeah, I didn't really have too many problems posing with Kenny, uh, still a lot of fun to pose with. And up next we'll do a tag team, we'll do his elite brethren, um, who aren't really doing anything with him right now. But you know, I think they are friends as we saw at the end of Full Gear. Uh, yeah, these are the BFW Raw Tag Team Championships, but I decided to just leave them on since they are the AEW World Tag Team Champions. And I can't wait to get AEW World Tag Team Championships in figure form because those belts are absolutely beautiful. But yeah, Young Bucks had that epic match with FTR as much as the storyline wasn't that great. Uh, the match with FTR definitely uh, in my top 10 matches of the year. And yeah, they had that match against that them that top flight team the other week. You know, those guys are like 19, the same age as me. I'm here sitting in my bedroom. They're fighting on national television. So yeah, I find that quite funny. Uh, but yeah, Young Bucks can't wait to see what they do with their title run. Um, I would love to see a few matches with them. A, a rematch with FTR is definitely something I want to see. And speaking of people I would love to see and match with, uh, I believe they have already faced them, but let's go with uh, Jungle Express. Uh, is it Jura I think it's Jurassic Express, my mistake. I keep getting mixed up with the um, Disneyland ride. But yeah, these are customs made by Sky King Customs, and I've used them in the Fed a few times uh, on Instagram in like live event matches or t number one contender matches. And they're really fun to pose. Luchasaurus is a bit stiff on the legs. But you know it'll do until we get AEW official figures. And yeah look at that. John Moxley is the same size as Luchasaurus almost. But yeah Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus definitely one of the uh, hotter acts in AEW. They haven't done too much recently. But you know it's just the show is still so stacked. Um, and I'd love to see Jungle Boy go for a singles title down the line. Same with Luchasaurus. Both guys super over in front of a crowd especially. Uh, don't have a Marco stunt. Could have got a custom one of him, but I don't really care enough for him. Uh, even though he does play his role well, I don't. I didn't really have any interest in using him in the Fed at all. So yeah, I didn't really need a cop a Marco stunt. But yeah, Jurassic Express. I uh, would love to see them get a future World Tag Team Championship match. You know, once they've worked their way up the ranks and everything. Up next, we'll go with another Mattel figure. We will go with Pack, who recently returned to confront Eddie Kingston and reunited Death Triangle. And yeah, Pac has been killing it on AEW, so happy to see him back. Uh, definitely, he is definitely going to go for a title at some point. Imagine Pac versus Darby Allen for the TNT title, that would be awesome. But it looks like he's going to have a match against Kingston at some point, which I'm very down for. Uh, yeah, Pac is just definitely one of the best in the ring. So glad he's in the main event still, you know, you don't even need a title in the main event. Uh, he made him at Dynamite a couple times. Uh, his 30 minute Ironman match against Kenny Omega earlier in the year in Dynamite. on Dynamite, I think it was February. Uh, I think it was like the Dynamite show before Revolution. Uh, they had one of the best matches I've seen all year. Uh, definitely go check out the Iron Man match if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, fire match. Can't wait till we get the Unrivaled Series 3 pack figure. Will be a nice upgrade to this one. Up next we'll go with Dustin Rhodes. And this is probably the worst AW figure they've made so far. Uh, it is nice to have a Dustin. You know, I wasn't going to pass on it uh, for retail price. Uh, you know, just another member of the roster. But I don't really know what it is about this figure. It's just too tall. The legs can barely be posed at all. Feels like they're going to snap or something. Uh, but it is pretty nice on display. Uh, but you know, Dustin and QT Marshall are in the Nightmare family. Or the Nightmare Collective. Uh, Night Nightmare family, that's what it is. And yeah, it seems like everyone's in the Nightmare family or something. Uh, but yeah, Dustin uh, still can go at his age. You know, he's great. But I don't really see him uh, being in a title picture anytime soon. Maybe him and QT Marshall can have a tag team title match against the Young Bucks in the future. That'd be pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll get a blue elite, blue and rival Dustin in the future as well. Um, but yeah, I should have my blood and gut. I should have that uh, Blood Brothers two pack arrive uh, next week or the week after. I don't think I'll unbox that because I don't really plan to use it that much. I think it just looks a lot better on the box on display. And I think I'll hang that up next to my Chase Cody. And um, yeah, if you guys want to see where that Chase Cody is hung up in my room. Uh, I'll be doing a room tour, so expect that video out in December sometime. Uh, I know a lot of you have been asking for a room tour. I did one a couple years ago, I think. Uh, maybe even earlier in the year, but it has changed a lot uh, in that time period. So yeah, I look forward to that. Up next, we'll go with Le Champion, the Demo God, the leader of the Inner Circle, Chris Jericho, first AEW World Champion. You know, Jericho is Jericho, the GOAT. Uh, absolutely killing it on AEW with the MJF stuff and everything. Really intrigued to see where that goes. I think him and MJF could be a pretty good tag team um, down the line. Imagine they both win the tag titles at some point. That would be so good, uh, especially since you know they're both heels and everything. And they gel so well together. It's like the past and the present. 
But yeah, Jericho, I don't know if he will win the world title again, I'm not sure. This figure is great as well, by the way. Uh, I have no problem standing it up or anything. The pain maker, I do also have the bubbly Jericho, but I just I only needed one really uh, down here for now. But yeah, if only this cloth, if only this jacket was cloth, then it would literally be perfect apart from the skin tone. But yeah, can't really, don't really have any complaints about the Jericho. I definitely prefer this head scan to the one on the bubbly one. Up next, we will do his inner circle uh, newest member, MJF. Uh, MJF, you know, he is the future. He is what, like 23, and he's already killing it. Definitely a future world champion. Um, in five years, he will be probably one of the most popular guys, I imagine. Uh, if they push him right, and they have done it so far. Him and Wardlow. Wardlow is fantastic as well. Um, I think Wardlow could get a babyface run in the future. Uh, you know, if MJF keeps pushing him to the limit in that, because he is great in the ring. Loved his matches against Jungle Boy and Hangman Page uh, in the world title qualifier last month. Uh, yeah, they were great. But MJF also really great. Loved his match against Moxley at All Out. Didn't think MJF lost anything because, you know, again, he's so young. And I think the way he lost really protected him in the end. I actually want to go back and rewatch All Out because from what I can remember, it was a pretty weak show. Uh, you know, with the Matt Seidel botch and everything. Then the Matt Hardy getting knocked out. But the M main event I really enjoyed. Uh, so I will definitely go back and watch that at some point. I think Full Gear was probably the best show of the year, uh, all around, not just AEW. Uh, but Revolution is very close. Um, yeah, Full Gear was fantastic. Up next we'll go with Hangman and Page, who is probably my favourite in AEW right now, outside of Kenny Omega and John Moxley. Uh, yeah, apart from these big old clown shoes, this figure is great as well. I think the head scan is a lot better than the one we saw, like, all the way back in April or whenever that was, when we saw the figures. Uh, for the first time. But yeah, Hangman Page, uh, last this week on AEW, you know, he got offered to join the Dark Order. I uh, don't think he should do that. Uh, there is rumours that he attacked Moxley backstage, uh, you know, to get try and repair his friendship with Kenny and everything. Um, but I'm not really too sure. I think it'll just be a slow burn uh, till he works and works his way up uh, to eventually challenge Kenny for the world title. That would be great in front of fans. That would be amazing. Um, yeah, definitely would like a rematch after their amazing match at Full Gear. Up next we'll go with Pentagon and Phoenix and I don't have Wave 2 Phoenix yet, I've only got Pentagon and the Pentagon is definitely, might be my favourite Wave 2 figure so far, I uh, literally have no complaints about it other than wish it came with another head scan, you know, with the tongue closed and this custom Phoenix is also great. I don't think the Lucha Bros have been handled the best in AEW, I think they should have been the first World Tag Team Champions over SCU. Uh, but, you know, they still had great matches and everything. And um, we'd definitely like to see them challenge the Young Bucks at some point. And, yeah, I have just left the SmackDown Tag Team Championship around Phoenix's waist. Um, because because I just couldn't be bothered to take it off, honestly. Um, but, yeah, I do have the custom Pentagon uh, up on the shelf. But I just thought I'd show you guys the Wave 2 one uh, next to the custom. But, yeah, Pentagon versus Moxley I would love to see for the title. Pentagon versus Omega for the title, even though we've seen that match, match a couple times now. Uh, any of those matches, just put Pentagon in there, he'll kill it. Up next we have Miro. Uh, I know he has a Rusev Day shirt on, but he is Rusev and BFW still. And I think this is the only part of AEW I'm not a fan of, is how they've handled Miro. Big misstep, you know, making him a heel. I think he should have been a uh, hot, fiery babyface since we've seen him as a heel for so long. And uh, him and doing the arcade stuff with Kip Sabian uh, hasn't really interested me at all. Uh, but yeah, I think, Rus I think Miro has been the biggest botch. Uh, of AEW so far um, that I can remember. Uh, hopefully he can pick himself up and you know challenge Darby Allen or something. Miro versus Kenny is a match I would love to see. Uh, really hope he turns face in the future or something like that. Uh, but yeah, not much to say about Miro in AEW. Hasn't really done too. Much. Yeah, we all know how great he can be when given the opportunity. So hopefully he picks himself up very soon. He hasn't had a match in a while either, so maybe he's injured and we just don't know. Um, so yeah, maybe that's why. Next we have Matt Hardy, who is, you know, he's just kind of there right now. You know, he's obviously great. He is Matt Hardy. Uh, that Elite Deletion match against Sammy Guevara was sick. And I'm not usually a fan of, you know, like, funny matchups like that. I didn't really like uh, any of his d deletion stuff before that. Um, I thought it was quite funny, but I just much prefer normal Matt Hardy. I don't know, he's a funny one, Matt Hardy, because some stuff he does is really good. Then he'll go teleport or something, which I'm not a fan of. But yeah, you know, maybe Jeff can go over there someday and they can reform the Hardy Boys and have, you know, one final run uh, against the Young Bucks or something like that. That would be amazing. Here we have current TNT champion Darby Allen. And uh, Darby Allen definitely, uh, again, like MJF, very young and uh, definitely the future of the company. And this custom was made by, me a few month made by me a few months ago. And it's got the Elite 2 Matt Hardy trench coat on, which looks sick on it. 
and can't wait for that AEW Unrivaled 3 figure of Darby Allen. That'll be that's gonna be amazing. Uh spell uh, throw on this trench coat if he doesn't come with a cloth one. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I made this, uh, go check out the customizing video from like I don't know when I made that, was it June, May, something like that? But yeah, TNT champion, I think he could have some great matches, you know, he's currently um I think Darby Allen versus, you know, like Powerhouse Hobbs or Brian Cage would be awesome as well. Maybe a rematch with Cody. Uh, but the mid card is so stacked, you could have anyone go up against Darby Allen. Up next, we have FTR, uh, former World Tag Team Champions. Definitely had uh, one of the best matches of the year, as I've already said, against the Bucks at Full Gear. And yeah, their promo the other week was great, uh, where they said, you know, the Young Bucks was better than them for a whole, like, two seconds or something, and that's the only reason they won. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a really nice line. And yeah, we need bigger FTR elites, man. Look how tiny they are. Uh, they need bigger torsos and everything. So hopefully we get those in the AW line down in the future. We do have a Sammy Guevara on the way in Wave 4. Before we've even seen Wave 3 complete. Don't know why they're working on those. Uh, maybe they're going to pick up, you know. Because they did say they want one Wave out every month. Which I, seems like... That seems unreal right now with the way the distribution's going. So um, yeah, I guess we'll see in 2021. Up next we have uh, the penultimate... Figure. We have Matt Seidel in his Evan Bourne figure. Desperately need a Matt Seidel figure. Uh, he still looks like a baby here. Uh, we need to add some beard on there. But yeah, Matt Seidel has officially signed with AEW a few weeks ago. He did have a few appearances and that very famous botch, unfortunately. I mean, thankfully he was alright. Didn't injure himself or anything. But um, yeah, had a great match against Eddie Kingston the other week, which I really liked. Um, we'd love to see him go up against Darby Allen or someone like that. Um... Matt Seidel vs Phoenix, so many great matches in there you could have with him, uh, as I say the mid card is stacked. And finally we have Mr Brody Lee who I was absolutely loving on AEW, uh, but I believe he is injured since his match with Cody uh, when he lost the TNT title, very controversial loss right there, but I thought they protect, protected him well in defeat and uh, it was it was worth it in the long run for Cody's character and then for Darby to get the get the win. Uh, I, love for Luke, uh, I always said Luke Harper. Um, for Brody Lee to go up against Darby Allen. Uh, I apologise if I sound funny. I do have a bit of a cold right now. Um, don't know why that is. I guess it's because I've got a cold. That didn't really make sense. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for the whole uh, video. Let me know what you think of AEW and the figures we have right now. Uh, are the customs better than the AEW and Rivaled line? Is there anyone I'm missing from my collection who's in AEW? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I've got everyone here. And yeah, maybe I'll do a new Japan roster of who I've got. Because I do have a fair few, uh, I must say. And I think I've done Raw and Smackdown ones pretty recently. I, pre I did like, you know, the, the drafts from my brands. I haven't done full on Raw roster or Smackdown roster. Uh, if you guys want to see me do those though, like updated ones since the draft, uh, let me know and I'll go through, you know, like each member of the roster and, you know, how I think they're doing and everything. Uh, but yeah, leave a like if you want to see that. But yeah, guys, I'll, I will see you tomorrow for another video. Uh, I think tomorrow will be a pretty big one. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, again, sorry if I sound funny, I have a bit of a cold right now. And yeah, we're going to smash these daily uploads, hopefully. So yeah, see you all in the next one.